Hey guys, I'm Yovana, and today I'm with Nina and Randa <laughs> from their channel, Nina and Randa. Randa. They are two beautiful twins, as Aww. you can see, vegan from birth, and they make tons of videos. So lifestyle, health, music, challenges, weirdness. No, it's awesome. I watch their videos all the time, and Aww. I love them. So I asked you guys on Instagram, I posted a picture, and I said, ask any questions that you have for the three of us. And you guys posted some questions. So we just filmed a video for their channel and we did uh, trying exotic fruits. If you wanna check out that video, go and uh, click the link below. Uh, but we're still gonna try some fruit that we didn't try. I can't stop eating this fruit right here. <laughs> whatever it was, the pear. It's so good. <laughs> first question is, how can you start being vegan? Yeah. You yeah. first. Uh, I think that you can start being vegan by... Subscribing to all of us. Yes, first subscribing <laughs> to all of us and following all of us on social media. Like, <laughs> no, seriously, no. it really helps when you're following people on social media. You get because, ideas. Yeah, yeah, you can get tons of ideas and inspiration, daily inspiration. Eating one meal a day. That's vegan. vegan? Yeah, that's to start vegan, out. to start out. True. Yeah. I think I mean, an important way to like go vegan is to learn to do it in a way that's sustainable and like that works for you so that you can do it long term and like I feel like educating yourself in terms of what is healthy is like a good way to go vegan because then you'll stick with it. Learn your information. I like I like Dr. John McDougall. Yovana has a lot of information, so get educated. I would say like find foods that you like. Like most people are like, oh I hate vegan food. Like I never eat vegan food and it's like there's like apples. Like people eat vegan food. Well hopefully. And also give every your day. give your find palate like a chance to adjust. Yes. Also yes. and if you're gonna like start by eating like more like potatoes or like stuff that we eat, like at least like a condiment or a flavor flavoring that you like because mm. even if like the condiment isn't like as healthy as you could be like as long as it gets you to eat like more healthy food than you would have yeah. that's better obviously yeah so start eating what you like mm -hmm. that's yeah. great what's your favorite part of each other's body her butt favorite? yeah she's got a great butt her butt <laughs> oh, is so thank great you. <laughs> um, I like you, both of your abs, for oh, sure. Oh, yes. hey. like, you just, you're just jacked. Oh, thank you. And oh, your, and your height. It's like perfect. Oh, oh thanks. What's this? Let's do the persimmon. Oh wait, did we try that? Yeah, let's try the persimmon. Yeah, too. Okay. Look, there's two types of persimmons. This one, uh, it's um squishy. Yes, hachia oh. persimmon. They're both Japanese. This one's hachia, and you have to eat it when it's really ripe. And this one's fuyu. It looks good. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mmm. Mm. Mm. Interesting mm -hmm. texture on mm. the tongue. What inspires you to come up with such creative vegan recipes? You tell us what inspires you, because me and Rand are super like lazy. lazy. No, I love your recipes or the oh. way that you guys eat because it's so easy. Convenient. Yeah, convenient. You know, <laughs> you just throw in like three things and boom, you have a good, <laughs> yourself a really good meal. I say the way I make up good recipes just change the condiment. Yes, change the condiment. <laughs> change the spice. Change the spice. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But how do you come up with your like super like raw recipes? Um, okay, I have this book over there. Mm -hmm. That's called the Flavor Bible. I've always loved like watching the Food Network mm -hmm. and I love Pinterest, reading blogs and just experimenting in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah. And somehow it just comes up. It just worked out. Yeah. And it happens to be healthy too. Yes, exactly. It's so much fun. Yeah. I would like to know how you stay motivated in a vegan lifestyle without support from people around you. Well, our whole family's vegan, so we have a constant support. I know, support. I never had to yeah. deal with that. I, that would suck though. Like I, I empathize for people who have to go through that because that would yeah. be hard. I would think like the one of the best ways is to kind of like, not that you should only be like friends with people online, but like it does help to like watch other yeah. people and like, oh, like it's not, I'm not Weird. alone like to no. be vegan. So no. I, what do you do? Yeah. Like, cause you're- um, Yeah, no one in my family is vegan, but at the beginning, uh, social media. And I would meet people on social media and like actually like have Skype calls with them. Connect. Oh. Yeah, Skype. connect. Yeah. And now your parents like, what do they think of you being vegan now? Oh, they they always supported me. Yeah, yeah they okay. always supported me. Yeah, they, they've gone vegan for like months at a time. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool parents. Actually, my dad was the one who told me about raw food, so. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, he knew. What's your favorite go-to vegan snack? Is bagels. 
Mm. I love toasted bagels. I would say my favorite go-to snack would just be like oatmeal or apple. True. Oh. Oatmeal is good at any time of day. Oh, yeah. Especially with maple syrup. Or dates. It's oatmeal is really good. Dates. Ah, oh, my favorite snack. Cherry tomatoes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Cherry tomatoes. Had a lot I love of them. We yeah. ate them today. So They're good. so good. Mm. Oh, oh I never had yeah, like that. Those. So this is like an unripe date, basically. No, that's no? this is actually a variety of a date. Is there oh. is yes. there a pit in it? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. This is so weird. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're crunchy. Whoa. Mm -hmm. like crunchy dates? Okay, so it's like a date, but like crunchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's mm -hmm. not bad. Mm -hmm. I rated about a four. Disappointment to be a date. <laughs> <laughs> I like my date sweet. I think you guys should touch on the topic of being an entrepreneur working for yourself. You guys all really inspire in that sense and you should talk about the pros, cons, and other job alternatives you guys have done or are currently doing. That's wow. cool, I love yeah. that question. Okay, well it's really cool to be an entrepreneur because you're doing what you want to be doing and you're your you own don't, boss. You're, yeah, you're your own boss and I think a pro to that is you are your own boss, just having your own schedule and yeah. like doing something you like. I can't um, really think of any cons. I kind of always figured that I would, like as my job, that I would do something that I loved. Like I never was like ever thought that I was gonna have like a corporate job so mm -hmm. I just like had this like feeling that it would work out and I didn't know it was gonna be YouTube But yeah. like that's what's working right now and if not forever then something but else. Have we, have we worked? <laughs> I know I, everyone's like what are you what are you gonna do like 10 years from now? I'm like, I'm like I, don't I don't know. know it's 10 years from now like, I know right? Yeah. Well a con could be like if your business isn't going as well as you'd like yeah. it to be and you're not necessarily making money But at the same time you're doing something you love yeah. So I'd rather make yeah. less money doing something that I love than something that like I hate yeah. and making like a bit more money because mm -hmm. if you can love your job, like you'll love your life. You think about it, you'll never, you literally will never work a day in your life. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Finding something that you really like to do mm -hmm. and just focusing on that and believing that it's something that you can make a living out of and mm -hmm. you can actually live from that. Because I didn't know you could make a living from YouTube. Yeah, me either. Yeah. Or like making videos or spreading the message or you know for people that are that like nutrition yeah um, yeah like anything that you want you can make it into reality cons yeah i mean for someone who is used to having like a paycheck yeah. and who's used to having like a certain amount of money and they know for a fact that they're gonna have that money yeah you don't have that security when you're an entrepreneur and you're working for yourself but there's so much more it's much more exciting and it just drives yeah. you even more to like work harder so nina and Randa have been vegan since they were born Someone is asking, like, what, what did you guys eat when you were young? Like, growing, growing up, growing I up. remember. Yes. For school, like, four or five years old, we always had, like, a PB&J sandwich, and we always uh -huh. had, like, fruit leathers, fruit, like, maybe, like, an apple juice, and... Lots of snacks, like, like bagels, just snacks, crackers. Cliff bars, like, yeah, it we, wasn't, like, super, like, We ate more of what I would consider now junk food vegan. Like, we weren't not junk food vegan by any means, but we still had, like, fat, like, peanut butter and oils. Snacks. Snacks, sandwiches, Occasionally, pastas. our mom would give us, like, a vegan cookie or, like, a vegan cinnamon roll just, like, to have, like, a treat. Did we, you guys eat a lot of, like, veggies and Yeah, yeah, we oh, ate, like, yeah. tons of, we had, like, smoothies But, like, even, breakfast. like, vegan pizzas and stuff, like, we ate, like, like standard kids but vegan. Yeah. Know. Well, we eat yeah. now, but just like it was like probably more fat back when we were younger. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. So and you were always healthy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We were never. Yeah. I don't remember being sick a lot. Oh, or anything. never. Okay. Yeah. So have you guys ever eaten something that's not vegan? That's so funny because we get that question all, all the time. time. Yeah, that's like <laughs> it's the main like, question. Why do people want to know that? And probably not on accident. It's very possible. I've never gone like intentionally like tried to eat something non-vegan. But it's which a is a weird thought because you think about how much non-vegan food is in the world. Yeah. And you would have thought that at any age of our life we would have been like, I want that. No, but I literally never had. It's like thought. it's not vegan. When, oh, I when it wasn't it. vegan, I was just like, it's not food. Yeah. It's yeah. Exactly. weird. I was like, I don't eat that. But no, I've never no. intentionally gone out of my way to try anything. I'm sure. Is it possible? Had, like, some butter on our I'm sure like there's been like at a restaurant where they accidentally put butter or something like I can't think of a time but like I'm sure it happened. maybe yeah. I'm not gonna say yes I'm not gonna say no just because I swallowed a fly on a bike ride before. yeah no like, just yeah. We're, we're joking but like <laughs> never like went out of my way to eat something that has dairy or anything like but maybe it was in maybe me, and I didn't know it that's a politically correct answer right <laughs> you don't crave it no, no, not at all. This is an Asian pear. Asian mm. pear. Have you guys tried it? No. I actually have tried this and I like them. I'll have a little one. Oh. Mmm. 
Okay, that's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not too sweet, but it's mm. awfully good. They're good. It's like yeah. sweet jicama. Yeah, it is like jicama. Starch solution versus raw vegan. Which one is better for weight loss? I'm a starch solution person, so you're, you're a raw. <laughs> no, okay. like I think raw foods because that has been my experience. Yeah. Um, is better for weight loss because it's foods that are very high in water content, very high in fiber, a lot lower in calories. Mm -hmm. So the weight loss is really, really quick. Mm -hmm. And you go to the bathroom, you clean out your intestines, yeah. your colon. It's a very quick way to lose weight, but it's in a healthy way because you're nourishing your cells, your body. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why raw foods. We eat like lots of like raw foods, like fruits and stuff, and like lots of potatoes. So I feel like yeah. It's kind of similar to raw. I guess it's mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. But for me, when I have cooked foods, I feel more satiated and I don't like overeat. Whereas if I only eat fruit, I'm like, I'm still like looking yeah, for that satiation. And, yeah. I end up eating more. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's just me. So yeah. I love being star solution because I feel like I can have like a lot of raw foods and then also have like cooked foods. Like I feel like yeah. I get the best of both worlds. So I think it's possible to lose weight on both. Yeah, yeah so I can lose so weight. Too. Especially on, uh, like the standard American diet. Yeah, and, and they're both equally effective. Whatever you prefer. Yeah, whatever you prefer and whatever is easier for you mm -hmm. to do. But they're both gonna work the same. Like you're both gonna for sure lose weight if you wanna lose weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Especially if you have a lot of weight to lose. Like, yeah. You, either one's gonna make you lose weight. Yeah. What is an easy way to lose weight, do you think? I think an easy way to lose weight is find a a diet you can stick with long term that isn't restricting you so that you won't have like binge days. AKA vegan. AKA high carb, low fat, vegan. Yes, going vegan is a very easy way to lose weight. And not a junk food. <laughs> but also yeah, giving no. it time. Like it's like this yeah. whole like quick fix thing where it's like, I'm gonna get skinny in a week. It's like, it doesn't work like that. You don't get yeah. abs in a week. Oh, yeah. don't get fit in a week. You don't lose weight in a week. So the, the important thing is to be healthy and to nourish your body. And when you're nourishing your body, you're just gonna lean less towards the junk food, mm -hmm. which just like makes you gain, gain weight. weight. Yeah, exactly. and feel like crap. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, well, thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. Like this video, like don't forget it. to like it. If you liked it, subscribe here to my channel if you haven't subscribed, and subscribe to Nina and Randa's uh, channel. And make sure to also check out their video. I'll leave the link in the description <laughs> as well. And I'll leave all of their links in the description of this video. Okay, so you guys can follow them everywhere and just stay more inspired and motivated to eat more <laughs> vegan food, Yay. okay? Yay. Love okay. you guys so much. Besos! Besos.